Welcome to this week's Wednesdays in Prayer. We are giving God thanks once more for the opportunity for us to share together as brothers and sisters in Christ. Our scripture lesson comes from Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. This is the word of the Lord. For the past two weeks, we have been looking at what has been described as the priestly blessing that was pronounced on the people of Israel. And from the reading, we were able to identify one, his presence. From verse 24, may the Lord bless you and take good care of you. And two, his pardon. From verse 25, may the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. This week, we are going to be looking at his peace from verse 26. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you his peace. The idea of God's face is once more echoed in the third blessing. The lifting up of one's face is normally with the one doing the asking, not the one granting the request. However, in this priestly blessing, it is God whose face is lifted up. How do you explain that? One way to explain this is to look at the opposite in meaning, to have one's face fall, as in Genesis 4 verse 6. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Or in Jeremiah 3 verse 12, quote, Go proclaim this message towards the north. Return faithless Israel, declares the Lord. I will frown on you no longer. For I am faithful, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. End of quote. In these examples, the Hebrew used the idiom of a fallen face to mean frown or disapproval. Therefore, to lift one's face is to smile and show approval of. Understanding this then, within the context of our text, God looks on us with favor and gives us his peace. Here it is, simply put. God looks at his children with a smile on his face as they enter his presence. His face is turned in a cheerful attitude towards them. We have his full attention and acceptance. This blessing is all about peace. The peace he gives. It is the Hebrew word shalom. Shalom is used to both greet people and to bid them farewell, and it means much more than peace, hello, or goodbye. From the Finer's Fire website, we find the following, quote, Hebrew words go beyond their spoken pronunciation. Each Hebrew word conveys feeling, intent, and emotion. Shalom is more than just simply peace. It's a complete peace. It's a feeling of contentment, completeness, wholeness, well-being, and harmony. It involves health, welfare, tranquility, prosperity, perfectness, fullness, rest, and absence of agitation or discord. End of quote. Interestingly, this is what humankind have been craving for. But we have been looking for it in the wrong places. God has pronounced his peace on us, and with him, we have complete fulfillment in life. There is no need to look elsewhere for complete happiness and contentment. As we have learned from this priestly blessing, the Lord said in verse 27, In that way, they will put the blessing of my name on the people of Israel, and I will bless you. So, brothers and sisters, as we go out today, let's claim this priestly blessing on our lives. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you 
and give you peace. Amen. Today, as we go to prayer, I invite us to pray for the Lot Carey Baptist Foreign Mission Society. The Lot Carey movement was founded in 1897 by African American Baptists who were committed to a substantial international mission thrust, especially on the African continent. They believe that nothing should distract the church from executing its primary objective of advancing God's mission throughout the world. Since its founding as the Lot Carey Baptist Foreign Mission Society, they have single-mindedly engaged in Christian missions around the world. Through prior partnership, financial support, and technical assistance, they have come alongside indigenous communities to support ministries of evangelism, compassion, empowerment, and advocacy. Together, this group has been touching lives with transforming love. Last week, August 15 to 18, they met in the United States of America to mark their 125th anniversary and to share how God is at work around the world. Let us now remember this group as we go to prayer. Let us pray. Dear God and our Father, today we pause to thank you for the work of the Lot Carey Baptist Foreign Mission Society and the work it has been doing in various parts of the world. Thank you for the vision and determination of the Reverend Lot Carey who over 200 years ago left home and traveled overseas to engage in the work of evangelism, education and health care. Today that vision and work is kept alive by thousands of donors, volunteers, churches and ministries that continue to do what you have empowered them to do. We thank you that even during times of trials and testing, these persons have never given up on the work of mission, and because of that, millions of lives have been blessed and transformed. Being convinced that they have the power to impact the future, Lord, they have been doing something about it, and it's our prayer today that you will continue to empower them. We pray especially today for the work they are doing in educating students in Liberia, India, Nigeria, and Guyana. We are thankful for the skills training offered to both men and women in Jamaica. Continue to bless their work as they provide free medical care for leprosy patients and the indigent in India. The work of education, prevention, care, and support among persons living with HIV AIDS in Ethiopia is something we continue to pray about, Lord. We are also thankful for their response to world hunger and natural and man-made disasters which have impacted many negatively. Through their efforts, many have been helped in one way or another. As these your children minister to farmers, persons in need of medical care, Support men, women, and youth work across the globe. Bless the leadership and continue to empower them in their vision and effort to keep the mandate of the Great Commission alive. We continue to pray for volunteers who have donated much needed resources to make these ministries possible. As we look ahead, we pray that more donations will be forthcoming and ask for your blessings and these givers. Hear our prayers. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us once again, friends. I'm Oral Campbell. God bless you. Until next time.